just time now for us to have this long hair too. It is attainable. And that, my friend, is the secret to unbreakable hair. If you don't believe me, then you can observe the women from Chad. The women from Chad did release their secret to long hair. And everyone missed it. Everyone missed it. Everyone just focused on the miracle product, on the, on the magical herb that grows only in certain parts of the world. Let us just find out. And you find out maybe when you stretch it with a blow dryer that even though it is very short, you still have to trim it. Yo, oh, this is why I am so passionate about the ancient method because it may just be the only solution for us people who cannot grow hair that easily. So oh, I just have braids that are forming dreads for six months. All of my 225 braids are out. So let us just continue with line check today. <sighs> so today I'm taking down my braids. Here they are. They are six months old. So come with me. I finished installing them on the 24th of November back in 2023. And so today marks the exact 24th week of me having these braids because the date today is the 9th of May 2024. I still love them, Sham. I still think that they are cute. Even though they have so much gunk. But we are taking them down right now. Finally. <sighs> I did rebraid my front earlier this year. I did rebraid my front. But I don't know when that was. I'm going to have to put it on the screen for you guys. I really don't remember. So now I'm just going to show you what they look like at the back. And I'm going to measure my six month new growth. Last time I kept my braids in for three months and I got about an inch of new growth. In some places, it was even one comma one, okay? And so now that I have kept them double the time as in six months, I hope that I get maybe two inches. Maybe even two comma one, two. I don't know. It. My hair grows very slow and I'm not holding my breath. But I do see that I have a lot of new goals. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't even, I don't know if it, it's two inches. We'll see. We are just going to see. But whatever I get, I'm going to be very happy with it because my hair, my hair does grow slower than the average rate. Okay, so whatever I get, I am going to be happy with it. That, that is what I am all about, to encourage you guys that it's okay if your hair grows slower than average. It's okay. And that us too can make it to great lengths, okay? A snail walks very slow, but it does make it to where it is going. So that is even true for us. If you just detach from the mainstream advice and go back to the original way of doing things, to the original way of growing hair then we should make it to great lengths too. Because truth be told, all those tips, you know, the mainstream advice, they were just not made for us. Okay, let us just be honest with ourselves. It has been how many years now? If you're tired of watching people with long hair on YouTube tell you to do this and that and this and that, and you actually want your own long hair now, okay? Then go on and subscribe to this channel. Okay, because KAI, it's just time now for us to have this long hair too. It is attainable, okay? And by the way, at the very end of this video, I have a story for you guys. Like, 
You all know the story, but it's it's going to be a nice surprise. I saw the story on my son's app and I was just very happy and I decided to share it with you guys. So right now, let us just measure my new group. This is one inch and it doesn't reach here is two it doesn't reach two inches i think it ends about somewhere here i don't think that was two inches it ends right about here yeah, right before two inches and that is really okay for me guys i swear like that is this amount of new growth that i have in six months it makes me happy i don't wanna lie i do not wanna lie because i know where i've been in my hair growth journey i know that when i was following the mainstream advice my hair would be so short there is a picture that I keep telling people that my hair was four years old in this picture and no one believes me because of how short it was that. How can shed, how can hair be that short four years later? But it just is what it is, okay? So let us just take a look of what my new growth looks like. It has a lot of gunk. But it has grown. Even the part that is rebraided, it has grown. So now that all of that is out of the way, let us go on and take down my braids. And to take down my braids, I'm going to use my staples, which is okoke, right here. We call this thing okoke, okay? I don't know what you guys call it, but... And in my tribe, as in Amatos, we call this ibospelit. I don't know what you guys on the other parts of the world call it. And a brush to detangle and get the shade here out and my hair bad okay so let's do this <sighs> wish me luck I just anointed my braids two days ago. I was supposed to start the takedown yesterday on Wednesday. But then they were still very wet with hair by time. So I thought, let me give it another day. And today they are dry enough. They still have a lot of hair butter, But they are not that mushy and prone to breakage. They are strong today and they are just... Okay, so... And so it begins. Yep, it begins indeed. And am I ready? Well, I don't think so, but ready or not, here we go. No matter how much experience I have with taking down mini braids, the takedown just is a very nerve-wracking process for me. Right now, I have 225 braids that I have to take down. Yes, of course, you can always skip to the end or whatever, but I just hope that throughout all these days that... Throughout all these days that... I'll be taking down my mini braids. I hope that you will. I hope that you will walk with me and just hold my hand and we just do it together. And a tip that I have for anyone else who would like to 
you know join the micro braids journey when you are taking down your micro braids i need you to do as god did when he was creating the earth don't just take down everything or aim at taking down a whole bunch maybe half of your head in one day okay space it out do small sections each day maybe give yourself a full two weeks to take down your hair because it can be very overwhelming and like i said i have a lot of experience with mini braids even micro braids okay i have a lot of i've done them like i've been doing them but no matter how experienced i think i am it just is a very intimidating process so don't aim at doing everything at once give yourself grace okay get your mind in a calm relaxed place of you know of patience and long suffering and just tell yourself that even if you've done half of your head or maybe even if you've done a whole quarter of your head just tell yourself that this is the first one each time as you go tell yourself that i am beginning this is the first one i still have a very long way to go that way you are going to have a mentality of long suffering okay and you are going to be shocked when maybe you only have a quarter left to go or maybe you only have a few mini braids to go that way you will be shocked because you led with delayed gratification and it's very important to remember to take breaks in between and just keep drinking water and and maybe watch your favorite movies and take a break in between and maybe play a game whatever just what i'm trying to say is that take care of yourself while you are taking down your mini braids just give yourself grace and love yourself and be kind to yourself and not be too hard on yourself because remember in the ancient days like the women who lived before us they 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 were a community okay they helped each other no one did their own hair they were each other's pillars they had each other to depend on but in this generation that we live in you find that in your neighborhood you're the only one who does mini braids so you only have yourself so just give yourself grace okay and that's it guys please just enjoy the rest of the video and somewhere in the video i'm going to introduce to you guys to a guidebook that i created for you guys i just wanted to create a one-stop shop okay for every question that i get people do ask me a lot of questions on things they don't understand so i decided to create this guidebook that has all the answers instead of you watching every one of my videos and i make quite long videos okay so you can just get yourself the guidebook and whatever problem you will encounter there is a solution in the guidebook there are tips and, and a troubleshooting section like it's a lot basically the guidebook is centered around the three pillars of the ancient method which is to braid your hair not wash it too often and anoint it with a high quality hair bath okay so that's it you guys enjoy the video bye do you see that you don't need to apply conditioner to remove the gunk you don't need aloe vera gel you don't need anything you just need your gentle hands pull everything apart and pull it down out of your hair And so this is the shed hair that came out of that braid. And as you can see, all of the hair is long, meaning it's more shed hair than breakage. If I was spritzing my hair with water throughout this whole time I had my braids in, this gunk would be so hard.
it would break my head just to remove it. But it's just oils. It is just oils. In fact, it is just hair bud. And here it is right here. And I just pull it out to see how easy that is. <sighs> when I've taken down quite a bit, maybe these are just four braids. Maybe when I've taken down about six braids, I go in and do this. I take hair butter. And I just, nothing much really. And then I just slap it on. And go in and brush my hair. I do not brush my hair when it is wet. And people have a problem with that. They say, oh, you are brushing dry hair. And then I just go in and just to further get out the shed hair. And to further detangle my hair. This, this, what is on the brush? You can always just finger detangle your hair. You don't have to use the brush. This is just an optional step that I just use. And then I braid that up. But let me just twist it for now because it is still too small. They still, maybe, maybe I'm still going to add a few braids here. I braid it up and just move on. Right now, I'm just going to do a temporary twist until maybe i've done about here and then i will braid it so yes that's it hey guys i have finished this side and i've begun working on this other side i put these twists in now i'm about to take them down and braid them in two braids like this <gasps> I guess it wants to be part of my hair then. And so after I have braided them, after I have braided this part, I'm going to start working on this one now. I'm going to start working on this and maybe two rows from here. And then also braid them in two braids like this. And then when I am done with all of that, I am going to two. I'm going to do one, two, three braids on this section now. Okay. And then just be done with my front and move over to the back of my hair. These are only a few minutes old, like maybe a few hours old, yet they are already starting to form dreads. <laughs> My hair really doesn't want to be twisted, Shame. It just does not want to be twisted. Um, maybe now it's fine. My shed hair is coming out. And then I just take a bit of hair butter. Maybe that is a lot. That's okay. <laughs> it's not a lot for me. It's just right. Yeah, but I just apply it.
And yes, that's it. That really is it. Nothing else. Um, I will see you guys when I finished my front. Okay, so bye, Dolish. And so here's the one that I'm working on right now. There's the section that I'm working on. Oh, and by the way, if I might add, this is the hair that I lost while taking down my front. Most of it is just shed hair. And some of it is breaking. I am including my shed hair on this takedown because people do say in the comments that I don't show them my shed hair. So here we are. And I am going to show you guys as we go. I am going to keep this hair. And I am going to show you the big ball when I have done even the back. Okay? So yes, guys, that is it. Bye. Oh, today I shouldn't even be making this video. It is such a cold day outside and I even have flu. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I've had a very bad flu all weekend. And it made me very slow because I'm still at my front. Today is Monday. I finished this part and I've even detangled it and removed shed hair. And so I'm ready to braid it up right now. But when but when I was here, I left this out. I just knew that if I take it down, I'm going to have the urge to, to measure it. Because it is the exact same spot that I measured last year in December and got 9,5. And so I've been wanting to find out how long is my hair now? How long is it now? How long is it now? Okay, and so I knew that if I take it down, then definitely I'm going to, I'm going to want to measure it. And so I've been putting it off, I've been putting it off because one side of me really wants to find out and another side of me is, you know, sort of scared, so I don't know. But let me just do it because I do want to find out. And yes, I could wait until I finish my whole hair. I take down my whole hair and wait until it's time for length check but i why should i wait because i have waited so long to find out it is now may and i should have done this length check back in march okay so i've waited long enough i do have to wait till i finish my whole head look at it i still have to do the whole back so I am not going to wait for that. Let me just take this down and find out if my hair grew or not. Well, of course it grew, but by how much is the question. And I sort of already have an idea because I did check my new growth and I found that I grew about 1,8, 1,9 inch of new growth so i already have some sort of idea but let us just find out for real by the way guys i received what i think is my very first customer review and i was just very happy <laughs> i was just very happy because i mean she could have just she would have just received her product and continued to use them in silence just like the other ones who received their product. But no, she went as far as reaching out to me and sent me an email. And it's the thing she said for me, like... I just couldn't believe that someone out there actually gets and actually understands my products as as well as I do. Well, not as well as I do, but just the things she was saying, man, you could tell that. 10th April, she said, hey, dad, um, I hope this meets you in good spirits. Nothing much. I just feel I should let you know that finally I've received my order. I love the product. Your hair butter is so thick and moisturizing into my hair, even though it's oils and butters only that I see in the ingredients. 
Please never change this formula and please give grace to people when they disagree with you in the comments. Don't expect them to understand. They are not using this hair part. And so everything you say, they look at it from the eye of the of the lifeless things <laughs> they put in their hair. So please don't let the bad comments discourage you. I've even found that my hair is softer when I anoint braid by braid like you say on YouTube. You have literally thought of everything. Please, thank you for opening your YouTube channel. Oh, uh, what were the chances of me finding it? Yes, I did find it. Please never delete your videos so that they can stay for generations to see and not be misled. And may your online store always be open. I plan on buying in threes next time. Because the order took a bit longer than I thought to arrive. I really think... I really think for the first time in seven years being natural, wow. I think I've found my breakthrough by following you. I'm even gonna try the aloe leaf thing and see what will happen. You are doing a great job. May you prosper in everything. In every good thing you are building. Thank you so much, Dad. Much love, Viola in Kenya. Oh my goodness. Okay, and so that made me very happy. That just made me very happy, guys. I don't wanna lie. Yo, I don't wanna lie. I read that email for like a week. I kept going back to it. I even took a screenshot of it. Like, hi, it just made me a very happy girl, Sean. I think I should even put it on the website for as my as my very first customer review. So hey V from Kenya. Shout out to you girl if you're watching. You really did put a smile on my face. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Here is the ruler. Last time, last time I had 9,5. It was right here. This is 9. Sorry. 8, 9. 9,5. And so where are we right now? Let us just find out. <sighs> so, just as long as it's. Let, let me shut up and do this. That is 9, 9,5. Oh. It's even past 11 now. Let me show you guys. I want to show you the clear side. <gasps> it's not even 11. It's not even 11,5. Huh? Mm -mm. I saw so Let me redo it. I'll redo it. I can't. So the guy look. I saw <laughs> so The 11. I want you guys to see this. Here is 11,5, which I was anticipating, but look. This is 12 right here. So I don't know if we should say it's 12 or maybe we don't count. Ah, but I didn't count this part. So what is it, guys? I don't know. 12! Yeah! 9,5 10,5 11,5 is 2 inches So that means I, 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 I might have grown 2, but So that means I might have grown 2,5 inches guys in 6 months and that is reasonable why am I shocked by that? Hey. You see, last time I'm telling you no lies. It was here. It was here at 9,5. And all of this, I guess it is this new growth that I have. Do you see why I tell you guys to braid your hair 
and keep it in in and always keep it drunk with her but the results are paying off right now oh my goodness yeah To think I was so nervous to do this, and it did yield results. Yeah, but this is 11,5, and we even have hair here. So I don't want us, I don't know if I should say 11,5. I did think of 11,5, but then I kept telling myself hey, I cannot expect that much, and now it's even over that. <laughs> I don't. I can't. I I just can't. To think that you, I was so nervous to do this. I kept putting it off. I was supposed to do it, and then I was like, I I'll just do it later. And then as I was, I was just like, ah, uh -uh, I will do it later. And now I couldn't avoid it because I have to move over to my bag, and so I have to braid this up. <gasps> I am just so grateful. And yes, I am going to edit all of this out probably because I don't want this video to be too long. But God knows how grateful I am that my hair is growing. Oh, guys, you guys don't, you, you have no idea the pain of having short hair that is always just short. No matter how many tips you follow, no matter how much you deep condition your hair, you just have short hair that is just at that length. And you find out maybe when you stretch it with a blow dryer that even though it is very short, you still have to trim it. Yo! Oh. Hey! The things I went through in my hair journey. This is why I am so passionate about the ancient method because it may just be the only solution for us people who cannot grow hair that easily. Look at the results. I don't like to clap in my head. I need to contain myself. Yeah. Okay, I'm making a fuss about nothing, but I am just very hip. You, you guys have no idea. I let me just let me just continue taking down. Go, go! I'm even hyped up. Even my flu, I feel it's going away. <laughs> I will do this part and then do this one. I think my back is going to take a full day. Today is Monday, so I'm going to do this on Tuesday, all of this. Because these are big braids at the back, I'm telling you. But I do have braids that are forming dreads at the back. My brother, this one, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, I just have braids that are forming dreads. I want to show you guys that other one. <laughs> Oh, Salaya, my hair is growing and I am retaining my length. You? Look at this. It just has this balls. Like you can see here that it's a braid and then it has a ball. They just keep developing these balls. I guess that is what you get for keeping braids for six months. So don't keep your braids for six months, guys. At least redo them. Yeah, but I read it. I read. I I refreshed my friends. So keep refreshing them. Don't just stay f six months with braids, okay? Even I don't think I will do that again. But maybe I will. Who knows? <laughs> but don't do it. Don't be like me, okay? So I've been talking for too long. Bye, guys. I need to continue doing this thing. My hair is just. This is 12 inches of hair now. It's me, Kesan, the girl that is known by the entire family that I don't have hair. This is me now. Oh! Here, I was just showing you guys that I have finished the upper back section of my hair. Well, not all of it. Only the right hand side is fully done. 
or should I say undone. And then the right hand side, I have finished the lower part of the upper back part. I hope that makes sense. And then I have six braids on the lower parts that I left. You are going to you are going to see shortly that I only have six braids to do for tonight. I am signaling that I will do that part tomorrow, the upper part. And then tonight I am going to do this one, two, three, four, five, six braids. Okay. I will do them tonight and then be done with the upper part of my back section and move over to the to the lower part. And that is the lower back section right there. That's it. And that, my friend, is the secret to unbreakable hair. This, exactly this. I'm telling you no lies. Okay? If you don't believe me, then you can observe the women from Chad. The women from Chad did release their secret to long hair. And everyone missed it. Everyone missed it. Everyone just focused on the miracle product, on the on the magical herb that grows only in certain parts of the world. That is just what the secret is to unbreakable hair. You no, know, ask yourself. You really need to observe this thing. Because people have been using Shebe for for close to a decade now. Yes, actually. But where is the long hair? Okay. So we really just need to be observant sometimes. I'm telling you now, that is the secret to unbreakable hair. I left this one to show you guys that I didn't even, I didn't struggle getting out the the gunk. So I am going to finish off that. So your ball is coming out. I'm going to finish that off camera because I don't have storage to film. Bye for today. All of my 225 braids are out. Finally. <laughs> so let us just continue with line check today. There's nothing to be nervous about, really. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness, look at this breakage. This is why I would never wear my hair out a lot. My hair just breaks very easily. Another thing that I can report about this takedown is that these braids right here, well, the individual braids that were very small, I think one, two braids and one, two on this other side, on both, on both sides, they were, the ends were very rough. <laughs> the ends were very rough. They actually felt how they felt like 
well like when i used to follow the mainstream advice and i used to wash my hair every week and deep condition every week my that is how these parts felt like they felt very rough but when i looked at them i didn't find any i didn't see any split ends and i also didn't notice any single strand knots but they just felt very rough and that is a cause for concern because if your ends don't feel like the rest of your hair then you are not going to be able to retain length okay so that did worry me a bit but it was only these parts right here okay two here and two here so i don't know i don't know what i'm going to do moving forward is that i am just going to anoint them more okay maybe every other day maybe every day i don't know if you're new to this channel let me just fill you in okay last year exactly this time last year may 2020 may 2023 i gave myself this is a nice braid out <laughs> i set myself a challenge that I by next year as in march 2024 two months ago i am to reach pressure length okay That was according to the calculations I had made. According, I took into consideration how slow my hair grows, and I just saw that if I do everything correctly and if I don't encounter a setback, I can reach, I can have brass strap length here by March twenty twenty. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Yeah, man. So that was it. So today we find out if I reach, if I reach to that brush trap length or not. And I did encounter a setback. It was not even a setback because when I sometimes I do ask myself, why did you cut off your hair? It was not even a haircut. It was a trim. I cut off, I cut off an inch and in some places two inches off of my ends. Okay. And so that did take me from nine plus inches of hair back to the eight, okay? It did set me back to, but maybe by one to two inches, nothing much really. So I guess I can say because of that trim, I sort of kind of can predict what the result is going to be. But I hope that I am at least close to breast tripling. And part of me still, Kubane, that part that is deep down in there, that is just, that is just praying and hoping for breast tripling still. Because I mean, March was two months ago. So why can't, like, why can't I have grown it by now? <laughs> But we shall be happy with whatever I get. And for real, whatever result I get, I am staying in this ancient method. I am just staying because it has given me such beautiful results. Look at this. When you have been awakened out of zombie land, there is no going back, bitch. Okay. I, I cannot go back to foolishness, honestly. I cannot go back to the mainstream advice, to those hair growth tips that are misleading. But I really do hope that I did reach breast trap. Even if I did not, I just know too much right now. Okay? I cannot, I cannot unknow the things that I now know. So I am staying in the ancient method. Forward we move with the ancient method. Now about this new growth that I got from this from this brace that I kept for two months, that is how my hair would stay in the Natsukai for years upon years. So am I going to be disappointed? I am going to be disappointed if my hair I know the line that I am going to be disappointed if my hair doesn't let me show you. Okay, so here is my 
Yeah, it's my length check t-shirt. By the way, if you'd notice that it is black right now, the blue ink pen came right off when I attempted to wash this t-shirt. And so it didn't come right off. Like you could still see some, you know, traces of it. And so, but it was very faint. And so I decided to go in and take a permanent marker and write over it. But I did a sloppy job right here. You can see the blue ink pen in hip and tailbone. I did it. I must have been tired when I was getting to this point. So what I was saying is that my hair, my hair last year, 17 November 2023, it was right here. Do you remember how I was so nervous? To find out, oh my goodness, have I reached Ampit's length or not? And then I found that my hair did not even, did not only reach Ampit's, but it is way past, okay? So it was right here. And so at the front, I got two inches. So I don't know if I should hope for this brush jet length because maybe two inches is one to it ends right here okay <sighs> but that was that was supposed to be in march so why not why can't it be here but okay but but again i did trim off my ends so guys i don't know man i don't know i don't know but if my hair didn't get past even this then i don't know i think i am going to be disappointed but I don't think so, man. I hope, because I did have new growth at the back of my hair. So I'll just continue taking my tea and my hair bath. By the way, I finished my tea and so I just opened a new one. I'm excited for that. I'm going to continue taking my tea and I'm going to continue applying my hair bath, huh? Which got finished because of this takedown. Look at how much I have left. So I'm just going to have to... I'm just going to refill that. And continue oiling my hair and taking my tea. I am just really grateful for my hair butter, guys. She really is the queen that she thinks she is. <laughs> because of all the questions that I get via the comments or via email about the ancient method bah, all the questions man but this is what i'm suffering from oh how do i tackle this issue now what do i do this has happened what do you think about this what do you think about that okay because of all those questions that i keep getting i created a guidebook for you guys and like I said, it is not an AI generated. It is not an AI generated guidebook. Okay, I hand wrote it myself. I was just flowing while I was writing that. Okay, I was just flowing, and I hope that I find time somewhere this year to actually make videos about some of the things that I said that I wrote in the in that guidebook. So, whoever is going to get it, that it will be a nice read, okay? It will be very informative. It is just going to help you. Oh my goodness, what is that? It has three different, it has three different routines that are going to help you. Because people are like, oh, my lifestyle is set up like this. I cannot do this. I can't, but I want to follow the ancient method, okay? So I did take into consideration a lot of different people, like people with scalp issues, people that say, ah, I cannot keep a productive style for such a time, or I cannot go such a time without washing my hair. So I did consider different kinds of people. Mm, by the way, I love my hair, guys. <laughs> yeah, but, but it is limited to really those three routines it is just limited to those three routines because i cannot just i cannot just accommodate everyone okay my answer cannot just be yes to every question my answer cannot be ah do whatever you like yeah, but, do i want you to have long hair or not 
if you wanna be reckless with your hair, then I cannot just accommodate that into the routines. If you make poor decisions with your hair, then I don't know because because the way to heaven is a very narrow path, Batman. And the way to lack and short hair and just sorrow and everything bad is a very wide way and everyone is flat into it. Okay? It is just my duty to lead you in the right direction because there is a lot. <laughs> Yo, there is a lot. On the natural hair community, you will just be lost. Okay? So I researched and observed all that I could and came up with the best and only way to grow hair but you also have to wonder though as for me i did my part even on this channel i just keep pouring whatever new information that i have and now i've just created this guidebook for you guys because i cannot sometimes i cannot answer every question okay so this guidebook is just going to be your friend about hair washing it has two pages that are dedicated it has a wash day routine and another page that explains exactly what you must do on wash day okay it is about 22 23 pages long like guys you are just going to love it okay and while talking about washing hair guys i am not going to wash my hair i my hair feels very good right now it just feels amazing do you know how long it takes for my hair to recover after it has been washed oh i am just not going to wash my hair sure. why would i wash hair in winter it's practically it's practically winter in south africa why would i wash my hair in winter because maybe we, it's autumn right now maybe winter is about only four three weeks away so why would i want to recently wash the hair in winter that time my hair maybe takes about six weeks to recover and actually retain moisture when it has just been washed you right, guys i'm not going to be able to wash by the way i've been talking for too long let us just measure and see if i actually reached the brush strap length or not <sighs> wish me luck wish me luck but i'm not holding my breath honestly <sighs> Okay, I am. I really do hope that maybe I am somewhat close to bra I don't know. I don't know. Let me just stop talking. As you guys have asked, I've kept all my shit here. I've kept all of it. And this is all my shit here, right here. This is all by shit here other pieces are falling yep for six months i think that is reasonable now i think that is reasonable because i don't know what you think is this too much is this okay let's check is in so i am wearing my length check t-shirt right now it is right here so this was last year and so now we are right here i wish i will write it later let me check this other side and last time we were here Maybe this is sitting at six inches. So right now we are here. I will rise back later. And so now we do the back. So I am standing up to check brush job length. So let us just do this, guys. I just need to remember to keep my face straight and not tilt it just so I can get brush job. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this. Wish me luck. So 
so that is it i do not know anything right now it is only you guys that know i'm just going to put a marker on it ah oh, have i reached tell me now guys have i reached it or not because now you know nothing okay well if this video was live okay i'm rambling <gasps> I am actually scared to check, but let me just put myself together and just... Oh my goodness, I can't. Why I can't, but look. What? So now I have brushed up like hair. Guys. And it is thick, just like the last time. Well, the thickness of my hair no longer surprises me now. Like, I have thick hair. Mini braids and hair butter and not washing my hair gave me thick hair. Why? I have brushed up blank hair. We have made it. Why? I cannot, even, I cannot even contain myself. Look. I did it. Mm. I did it, Mitchunana. I grew brushed the length hair. And I was so nervous to check this length. I was so nervous. Maybe I am a teeny bit past. I was I, I was hoping that. I was hoping, I was hoping that maybe I am here. I don't know. I would have been very happy. And now look, we are past the goal. Okay, let me stop rambling. I don't even have storage to film. But I am just grateful to the Lord. Because, because I never could have done this without the Lord. I actually went from ampit length. Because this was this was six months ago, guys. I am I am telling you no lies. Look at the date, seventeen November twenty twenty three. Okay, and now it is May. I don't know the date today, but today is Friday. Okay, today is Friday, and uh, maybe it's the seventeenth of May. Yes, I will write it here though. But I went from ampit length to brush the blank within six months. If you cannot, I, 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 I am really just running out of space. But if, if you struggle to grow your hair, then just dish everything that is being taught. Whenever, whenever you, whenever you Google how to grow long hair, and then you get those tips, just throw them in the dustbin, okay? And just follow the ancient method. And I've created this guide for you guys. Just click on the link and buy the guidebook, okay? And just get and just invest in a good quality hair butter and braid your hair. Do not do twists on your hair. Twists are going to waste your time and they are going to get your hair matted, okay? Don't twist your hair, braid it and <laughs> the rabbits and the tortoise. Once upon a time, a rabbit named Woody lived in a forest with his friends. Woody would always gloat about how fast he could run to his friends. He was laughing at his friend Mac, the tortoise, for being so slow. Do you ever get anywhere on time? He asked with a mocking laugh. Yes replied Mac. I'll even race you to prove it. Woody was amused by the idea of competing in a race with Mac, but he agreed. The umpire for the race was Michael, a fox, and the race begins. Ready, set, go! <clears throat> Woody raced way ahead of Meg, like everyone thought. He reached halfway and could not see Meg anywhere, and so he decided to take a short nap. If Meg passed him, he would be able to race to the finish line ahead of him. All this time, Meg kept walking. 
Step by step, he kept walking. He never quit. No matter how hot or tired he got, he just kept going. Woody slept longer than he expected. When he woke up, he could not see Meg anywhere. He rushed to the finish line and found Meg waiting for him. Woody had lost the race. Moral of the story, slow and steady wins the race.